Right. What a game. That's all I'm saying, bro. What a game. So, the game has finished. Ooh, I'm watching Cody watching Arsenal nil, Newcastle nil. 36 minutes in. Who cares? Like, top guys. A new classic Tottenham shirt. And, um, where do we stop, guys? Um, the game, obviously, as we all know, no. Finish Aston Villa 2, Tottenham Hotspur 3. Yes. Come on, him in some. But, oh, didn't we give Villa chances to get in the game, though? We, we give wraps. We're just giving away too many sloppy goals this season, though. Um, and it's a problem at the back four. But I'm not going to go on about the negatives, but the positives. We got the three points. We got the job done. Now, as we all now know, we've... Um, with Manchester um, City um, being chucked out of the Champions League, yeah, you've heard this right, fifth spot is now a Champions League place because Man City have been banned for two years. They are going to appeal to the Court of Arbitration. arbitration. We all got that right. But I don't think they're going to get anywhere with it. They've been punished because they, they've been spending out their means. They've not been doing the fair play thing. And they've been punished, and quite rightly so, in my opinion. They've been they've been told to play it fair on transfers and that. They've been buying who they want. I think they can do it. Well, you wait for said no. You've broken some rules. You've got to be punished. A two-year ban from the Champions League. It's them where it hurts them. If they don't listen to us, we're going to punish them. But anyway... Tottenham got three points, we're fifth, we're fifth, so we're back in the Champions League places. Didn't think I'd ever say that. Fifth spot is the Champions League place now. It's like, whoa. That's what happens when a big boy team thinks they're better than everyone else, thinks they're above everyone's rules and regulations. No one's above the law. No, it don't matter how much money you've got, you're not above the law. They broke the rules. So they... Have to be punished. It's all very well City fans going on social media, going, oh, it's where I've done by. No, because it would have been Tottenham, it would have been Liverpool, it would have been Chelsea, it would have been Man United doing it. You know, maybe less than now, you could call them a Champions League club because they're, they're coming back now. You go, well, City fans will go, no, you overspent. You broke your rules throughout the game. But wouldn't it be funny... City are banned from the Champions League for two years and they actually went and won the Champions League final this year. Because they can... Nah, they won't win the Champions League. I've got this funny feeling, and I've had it for quite a while now, since Mourinho took over, in fact, that um, we might just have a shout. I mean, we've got RB Litzberg, um next game. Now, I just said to a Tottenham friend... Our next game is against Chelsea in the league on Saturday lunchtime, but it actually isn't. I've just realised we've got Champions League football Wednesday night against RB Lichburg. I think we're at home. Yeah. So we're back in champ we're back in football on Wednesday night. So we will be playing a strong team because we have to. We we've got to f- believe we can go far in it. I mean we've got final last year on limited resources. We're actually a stronger team now than what we were like this time last year. I'm not even going to talk about um, our former manager because he just he's probably going to get another job soon. And um, I'd, in my opinion, the love fest for uh, Pochino is over. People have got to get over it. I'm getting sick and tired of Tottenham fans going, but Pochino got the Champions League final. Who cares? He didn't win us a trophy in five years he was at Tottenham. Yes, he got us to finals, but every final he was in, he lost. He lost the League Cup finals to Chelsea. In fact, we capitulated against Chelsea. We lost semi-finals and the Champions League final. We never got going. And he really wound me up when he didn't play Lucas Mora in the final. The, one, the man who got us there, he didn't play. But I don't want to talk about him anymore. I'm getting sick and tired of people bringing him up every five minutes. He's not our manager anymore. It's Jose Mourinho. Let's talk about today. Yeah, we gave him away cheap goals. Cheap goals that uh, we're all moaning about. We're all shouting from the stands. We're all shouting from our TV screens. Um, 
it don't matter how much we shout from the stands or our TV screens, don't change the scoreline. They've still got two goals against us. And they were sloppy, cheap goals. For the first one, we concede. Lewis has to come and get it. Toby goes for the ball because Toby didn't. Toby shouts to Lewis, why didn't you come for it? Claim it. You're the goalkeeper. Claim it. You didn't call for it, so I've got to deal with it. And, that, that, and they can always go in the back of your net. If you don't connect with the ball properly, swing it around the post, it just flies in your back of the net. And unfortunately for Tobes, that happened. But didn't he redeem himself, guys, with that? What an equaliser from Toby out of Herald. Turn shot, that's the sort of goal Harry scores all the time. So that was 1 1. Then the penalty. Yeah, it was a penalty. Steve Bergwin did get clipped. I've seen. Certain Villa fans and social media going, oh, it was a penalty, Steve Bergwin dives. He doesn't dive, he never dives. It's a penalty all day long. You get clipped as the attacking player, as the opposition player. Ooh, Newcastle nearly scored. Nil-nil still at Arsenal. You're, you're going to go down for a penalty. Of course you are. You get clipped in the box, you're going down. Uh, the penalty weren't great from Son. Rainier gets the right way. He's a top goalkeeper, Rainier. Um, and then Son does like any attacking player does. Follows the ball in. So if you always follow the ball in, even if it gets saved or it's a post or a crossbar, you follow the ball in because you know there's going to be a rebound. You see it. And we got lucky. We got the rebound. Bang. You knew he was going to score. 2-1, half time. You're thinking at that stage, right, 2-1, we're going in for the break, 2-1, it's called right on half time, the momentum's now with us. Just go out, second half, get a quick goal and kill it off. Now, any other team would have done that. But we're Spurs. We're Spurs, we're Spursy. We do it the hard way, we have to do it the hard way to make it to make drama. You know, we've done it the hard way, then, then we let Villa back in the game, 2-2, you're like, oh, Two points dropped. I think that's why the scenes at the end were so dramatic. It was a dramatic goal, 93rd minute goal. Yeah, you noticed I don't talk about the Villa goals too much. Well, why do I? I'm a Tottenham fan. You know, it's a YouTube channel, it's a Tottenham fan. Um, I don't want to big the other team up, do I? You know? And uh, we get a goal. By the way, I love this shirt. I just saw it and I was like, I'm so buying it. Um, and uh, yeah but 93rd minute I was like watching from my TV set and I was like I just instantly crossed my fingers and my reaction was close so I just scored just scored just scored the game's done you get this in with one we've got three points we're taking it back to London just go just get in and it just went in and I've just gone ecstatic scenes all over the front room I'm going it's like that banging on the floor now I live in an apartment I live in a flat so it's like my neighbour doesn't actually care who lives below he's a West Ham United fanatic so uh, that's why I gave it so much because he's a West Ham fan he's like oh I heard Tottenham won I went yeah he got but he goes, I was going to put a bet on Tom. He goes, oh, it was a good result for West Ham, though, weren't it? Because we were above us. Typical West Ham coming, isn't it? Typical West Ham crew, good result for us. <laughs> and that is why West, West Ham are down where they are. <laughs> because they have to rely on other teams to try and go to trouble. <laughs> you know. Um, but, ugh. Yeah. It was a good win, but like I said, we shouldn't have had to wait for a 93rd minute stoppage time winner like that. We, you know, we all fought 2 2. Yeah, we'll kind of take it. Two points dropped. We'll try and get a result at Chelsea next week and see if we can get over the line and all that. But 93rd minute goal, oh my gosh. Tottenham Wine, let's have a beer. Celebrate the win, you know. Um. Luckily, yeah, so um, it was all good. We come away with three points, we're taking back North London. Um, watching Arsenal, Newcastle nil, 45 minutes, nil nil. Bit of boring game, not like Tottenham Villa. There's no drama in this game. 
you, you, Danny Rose is playing for Newcastle. You know, he's, he, he, I, I don't actually care about Danny Rose. He can stay in Newcastle for all I care. It's all come out now that Danny Rose was uh, trying to cause problems in the dressing room. If you're going to do that, get out of time. I don't care if you scored against Arsenal on your debut back in the day. You're going to be a bit of a nuisance in the dressing room. You can clear your stuff, get out of the club. You know what I mean? Anyway, we won the game. Fifth in the table, back in the Champions League spots. Love and subscribe as always. Come you Spurs quiz. And if you're following me on Twitter, when I share this on Twitter, if you're a Villa supporter and you view it, commiserations to you. You'll probably stay up because players like Jack Grealish will get you enough goals and assists to get to keep you in the Premier League. Um, I hope that you stay up because if you don't, it's going to be very hard for Jack Grealish to turn down offers, especially with England on his doorstep. You know what I mean? He will not want to be having another year in the Championship when he can stay in the Elite League. Um, so uh, it would be very hard for Grealish to start Villa. I know he's a Villa boy, but if he, you, go, you guys go down Villa, it's going to be hard for him to stay at Aston Villa, it really is. Anyway, love and subscribe as always. If you're another supporter, I would like you to subscribe. I'm not controversial. I don't go around slagging teams off. In this day and age, with social media having trolls and being nasty to everyone and what have you, I'm not going to go down that... Uh, route because we just lost a celebrity um, but you know where I'm coming with that so I don't have to I feel like I don't have to explain myself anyway love and subscribe if you're another football fan I also want you to subscribe come on you Spurs quiz commiserations Villa fans I'm sure you'll stay up TTFN people ATM bye <laughs>